Hi Alan, just a quick recap in regards to how the accumulators work from the top of the swing as promised. From P4 to P5, the only movement of the accumulators is the loading of accumulator 2. So from P4 to P5, accumulator 4 does not need to fire. And then from P5 onwards is when the hand or the arm starts to move away from the right shoulder. That then in turn starts to expand the right arm. Once the right arm starts to run out, the wrist will begin to unhinge. So the correct rate of firing, or the correct sequence of firing is four, one, two, three. But the firing of four only begins from P5 onwards. What we see with yourself is a player who, from the top of the backswing, starts to fire the accumulators too soon, four starts to run out too soon, one kicks out too soon, and two starts to get dumped a little bit too early, resulting in an impact position where the shaft is a little bit too vertical, rather than leading more with the handle, as we see there with Charlie. So don't be in a rush to get that fourth accumulator firing, so the hands do move away from the shoulder, or the right shoulder at a steady rate, but they do so from P5, not from P4. Hope that helps. Good luck with it, and look forward to speaking soon.